That's Lee Newton, I'm Joe Beretta, this is 20 Minutes or Less. After dungeon crawling throughout the world of Sanctuary for 40 hours straight, an 18-year-old Taiwanese teen has died due to complications from his insane Diablo 3 marathon. The teen spent two days in an internet cafe, immersing himself into a clicking frenzy, and he chose to focus on locating legendary weapons instead of engaging in, uh, you know, eating. He sat there and denied his body food for two days. At one point, an attendant was like, you know what, that door hasn't opened up for two days, maybe I'll you know, take a little peek. And when he did, the teen was face down on the table and the guy was like, oh no! And then he tried to wake him up and then he actually woke up and he was like, yes, thank God! But then, the guy took a couple steps and he collapsed on the floor and the guy was like, oh shit, no! The teen died a short time after reaching the hospital, but get this, they're predicting that he died not because of a lack of food or a lack of water, but because he spent too much time sitting in the same position. You know when you stand up too fast and you get a little bit dizzy? Well, that occurs due to a drop in blood pressure. And I'm guessing this kid just sat for so long that once he stood up, his heart was like, f it, and it just gave up. It also could have been a blood clot. And out of all the things that could have ended him after this brilliant gaming marathon, it was sitting. What about water, food, and breathing? Don't answer that, okay? I've looked it up. The average human can go seven days without water, for friggin' ever without food, if you're drinking water. And let's say you get scared by a skeleton king and you stop breathing. Well, you'll last about four to five minutes. I think the bigger question here is, how can you play that game for 40 hours straight? Don't get me wrong, I am currently exploring the depths of hell during my nightly free time. I mean, I went with the monk, and I am enjoying my hellish experience. But dungeon crawling is a very tedious, borderline repetitive task that edges dangerously close to mind-numbing. My brain would explode before my heart gave out and it would be right around the 10-hour mark. Mm -hmm. Go outside and kick a ball or something, seriously. It's way more fun than you'd ever imagine. You put it down and you kick it. Yeah, <sighs> balls are fun. Yeah. People should play with them more because this isn't the first game-related death to occur in recent times. It's actually the second death in Taiwan after another dude played League of Legends for 23 hours straight and a man in Beijing left the mortal coil after playing an online game for three days straight. Straight. Everything in moderation, people. Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. Seriously, as weird as it is to say, video game addiction is a thing. So much so that Xbox even has a healthy gaming guide covering proper gaming position, the dangers of repetitive motions like clicking over and over again, and the importance of gaming intervals. You should give it a read, because I'm telling you to. So question fun time! What is the longest you've ever played a game? What game was it? And did you experience any side effects? Let us know in comment land. Likey, subscribey, hey, and if you guys send us a picture of you guys with our posters, we'll put it up on our poster wall. It's awesome! If you guys want to see some more videos from us here at SourceFed, please click this annotation and go to SourceFed.com to check out the five stories of the day or anything that we've ever done. I am Joe Beretta. And I'm Lee Newton. I'm gonna be your mama.